Hey everyone, well I'm back. Did you miss me? <laughs> I thought so. Well, I'm here again with another locomotive, and it's by Bachman, or Barkman, as you can tell. Now, it doesn't look anything interesting, does it? It doesn't look, you know, particularly special. Um, it's a 260, by the looks of it, with a, a nice tender on the back. Um, if we turn it around, we can see that it's an Ivic class. See, yep, yeah, 260. Uh, it's a 2MT, I know that much. The MT stands for Mixed Traffic. An LMS Black. LMS Black. Well, clearly there, we've got a British Railways one, as you can see by the little British Railways logo there on the tender. But I, I do think um, that the one inside is LMS. I'm sure it is. Do you know, I can't even remember. Have I even opened this box? I don't know. Anyway, let's open it up. All I do know is that um, the LMS did start building them uh, a long time ago, obviously. Oops, there we go. And then British Railways took over. DCC ready, which means there's a nice little socket inside for me to just drop a chip into. Well, a decoder. Although, you know, if you really want to drop food in there, then you can do that to you. Anyway, so... Oh, nothing in there. Let's turn it over. Ah, here we go. Brief history, the Ivert 2MT. Oh, this is nice. Is it, I, I do like this. This is nice of Batman to do this. Um, I do appreciate these little bits of information. Well, what can we find out? Um, just glancing over it. Ah, yes. Yes, see. The, the, oh, wow, crew. Excellent. So the LMS did start to build them in crew, and then, as I say, British Railways took over. And they were designed to replace the 060s. They're, they're the Jinties, aren't they? Um, oh, yep, notice, look, see? 060s, with no apostrophe, because it's the plural of something. See? It's not just me. Um, well done. You got it right. And then... They were retired. Oh, no. Well, we know, obviously. <laughs> obviously, we know that they were retired eventually, but... They were replaced by DMUs, um, even though that they were even though they were really light, and they could go practically all over the network, um, and you could see them all over the network, with the exception of the south. They weren't in the south for some reason. I don't know, probably too hot. Um, but apparently they were replaced by DMUs, which could do the work quicker and cheaper. Ah, those nasty DMUs. Right, let's have a look at it. Okay, well this is just the usual gump, I think. Oh, one of them's just flown off. That's fine. Oh, gosh, open, focus. There we go. And yeah, that's basically just, well, what is that? I mean, I think that's just showing me where all the parts are. Should I need to? Yes, that's really quite, yeah, that's very good actually. You know, yep. Honestly, that's very good. If I if I need to replace any of those, I can do so. Hmm. And that's nice too. How to fit the chip, where to put the oil. Hmm. Running in. Here we go for people that aren't familiar with running in. The mechanism of this model requires running in without a load. So it's important that you don't put 20 coaches on the back of it, you know. Uh, for approximately one hour in each direction, at moderate speed. Well, personally, um, I find that an hour is a little bit excessive. There's, I've not encountered any problems just running them for half an hour in each direction. But, um, you know, so long as you do do it, that's better than nothing. Um, where were we? Ah, yes, the locomotive. Come on, focus will. So it's the old style packaging. Ooh, looks like she's joined together. Okay, what we'll do is we'll get this stuff out first. Ah, right. These are well, the brake rods, I think. The braking, the brake cables. The they're basically part of the brakes. Um, as the guy would put the brakes on, this would move along the whole bottom. This entire rig would move along the bottom of the locomotive and apply all the brakes at the same time. You see, and then we've got some more detail here. What are they? Uh, I, I, I think they're footsteps. 
I think they're footsteps and vacuum, yeah, vacuum pipes for the brakes um, on the coaches and the wagons that it pulls. Okay, now we can get the locomotive out, so ooh, just have a bit of a shuffle, getting old, and then drop it out. Oh, wrapped up in a little bit of plastic, well, foamy plastic, it's really nice. Whoa, yeah, she's, uh, she's joined together. Yes, um, permanently. Oh, well, is she, is she, is she joined together? Per I mean, obviously there's a little socket there for the chip. Um, so I'm, I'm assuming that the chip goes in the tender. Um, sorry about the um, the edits there. Would, would you believe it, right? Even though I'm doing the video in the middle of the night, um, on my own, in the quiet, somebody outside thinks it's a good idea to start up a huge 4x4 and then speed off. I, I don't believe it. I honestly can't make it up. Anyway, yes, so you can see just there, if I get the camera in really close, that there's a little socket. Um, on the tender and then some wires running into the main locomotive and then going straight into where I think the motor is. So that would suggest to me that the chip goes in the tender, which is, you know, it's a good idea, it's sensible because it doesn't look like there's very much room in there, does there? It looks a bit tight, a bit cramped. Um, and there's some marking on the side here. It's like some sort of residue. But the other side is completely fine. I shall give that a wipe and see you in a second. Okay, I'm back. And where is she? She's here. I've just chopped her in half. That's all. Uh, it was it was awkward. I mean, gosh, seriously, trying to um, look at a locomotive while it's joined together and you have to to hold it in both hands at the same time. Ah, uh, it's really really tricky. But it's quite simple. This little connecting rod here. Um, just basically hooks onto that little black pin and then of course the DCC stuff just falls into the socket there. That's not where the chip goes I should say. The chip obviously goes inside. Um, oh just incidentally the coal the coal load does come out so you're free to put your own coal in which is, is nice. That's a really nice touch because some people you know they, they really like to do that uh, and I'm just letting you know that you can. Uh, the buffers are sprung, the coupling is a NEM coupling, so you can put any kind that you want in, which is really good. Um, what I mean by NEM is that there's just this little socket here, you see, and this comes out of that, and then you're free to put in whatever you want. Um, it's fairly limited detail, uh, but it, you know, it's not bad. It would be nice if we had a bit of Wow. We do. We do have detail in the cab. Wow. Okay, it's just a couple of shut-off valves, but wow, look at that. That's really good. And I can I can tell you now that it's very rare to get detail cab detail like that on a locomotive by Hornby um of the same price. Uh, you really do have to look quite hard. Um, so that's really, really impressive. I'm, I'm, I'm very, very happy with that. And I do believe that that's a wire. Yes, it's a strip of metal. It's a strip of metal, it's not a wire, running down to the front, the front axle here. Hmm, I wonder if it's in some way to do with the no, it couldn't be. It couldn't be to do with the pickup, surely. Is it just spring? Yeah, I think it's probably just this spring. But, wow, look at the detail on the linkage. That's nice. And it looks really complicated. Is that going to move? I hope so. I'm sure it will. Um, of course, I, I, I can't even remember. Is it LMS? Yes! <laughs> You were only looking at it for like five minutes, Will. Yes, it's LMS. It's beautiful. It's fantastic. To think that these replaced the Jinties, the little the little Jinties. 
Um, yeah, it's well, stunning, really. I, I, I really wish that I'm, I could go on. I could go on one. <laughs> I'd love to go on one. Um, the detail's excellent. There's plenty of weight to her. It feels really heavy. It feels like a quality build. A beautiful handrail down the side. Nice safety valves and a whistle. I'm just checking for riveting. Yes, of course, there's riveting. There's riveting all over the place. There's riveting where it matters. Um, nice cylinder work there. And the wheels are all shiny. Okay. I think we need to put her back together. Put her on the track. And then see how she runs. Okay, so I've put her back together, which was a little bit tricky, I must say. You have to kind of like lie one, well, you have to lie the main locomotive part um, down on its side on something soft and then it's okay. It's easy to do once, once you've got your hands free basically. Okay, so all those are on and all those are on. Oh, she's really nice. She's honestly really, really good. I mean, every time I look at her, I spot something new. Um, I spot an, another piece of detail that I haven't seen before. I know that she was popular with the crews that operated her because of this, you know, this enclosed cab, basically. So it didn't matter what the weather was doing. <laughs> they were nice and warm and snug and cooking bacon and sausages, probably. Okay, I'm back. Sorry, another edit. Um, huge diesel freight train has just gone past. But we do get a lot of midnight freight um, around crew in the night. So, power on. Oh, there is the jerk. That means the power is shot through. Okay, this should be good. I've got a good feeling about this. I have. Let's go. <laughs> She's so cute. <laughs> That's not bad. It's a little bit rough, but then she's brand new. She's going to need that running in that the packaging was on about. Um, she's a little bit noisier than some of the other steam locomotives I have. But again, she's new, you see, so she needs to run in. Well, through the magic of editing, I can reveal that she's been running for about half an hour now. And, um, she's, well, she's going much smoother than she did before, basically. Much smoother. Well, I'm impressed. I am. I wasn't expecting much, but I'm impressed. She'll make a cracking little um, addition to the layout. She really will. The Ivert Class 2MT by Backley. The little locomotive with the big personality. <laughs> 